Good morning, my lovelies. If my face seems super reflective right now, it's because it is. I have a face serum on and I'm just getting myself ready for the day down here in the bags because I'm switching out bags. Today, I was thinking that we would go and pay a visit to our good old friend, Primark. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Now, no, <laughs> come to me. Now, I haven't been into Primark since I did my stocking fillers video, which was quite a while ago now, not like an age ago, um, but I've avoided going in there because I didn't want to spend money on like anything unnecessary and just haven't really needed to and I've been so busy. But I was thinking, we need to see what's new in number one. And number two, there's a whole video coming. It's going to be Christmas themed. It's lastminute.com, but it's not Christmas gifting. So you guys can do some guessing if you like, but that is going to be out this weekend. So that is pretty exciting. Just busy uh, packing into one of these little bags. I like to switch bags for the day. Um, if any of you guys watched my clean with me video, that is not clean. But otherwise the room is pretty much still looking the way that it was. Um, and there is the bag pile and it's like the cushions go there to die. I actually can't believe that it's nearly Christmas. Christina feels like she hasn't even been up for that long. She's offended. She hasn't had her time to shine yet. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. You know when you have with these like last minute nightmares and you're like, what do I need? Okay, I need this umbrella. I need to pull myself towards myself because, girl, we need to go. Hello, angels. So I have just gotten to the Primark. If my hair didn't look like shit already, um, it does now because it got rained on a lot. And I actually was really feeling so tired. I nearly didn't come. Um, but I was like, I don't want to be lazy. I want to show you guys what's new in. And <laughs> first thing I see, I'm like, oh my gosh, I really, really like this. And it's so good for the price. How cute are these, like, your cropped bulb jackets? I love that. I think these are so different compared to some of the ones that I've seen before. And they have pretty much got, like, a copy of the pink one that I have from Zaffle in brown. Just with a slightly different like fit at the bottom and maybe a bit thinner like not as good quality but so so soft and that is also 20. <laughs> These are amazing. I am obsessed with these. They're in like a lilac shade, which is so nice and different compared to some of the stuff I've seen. These are 40, but they totally feel worth it. They do have it in black as well, but I feel like I've bought so many jackets in black recently that like this color is so much fun and I really, really like it. Text them back, I want you. Hit you. This is me. I literally look like death after work. Like, I don't even want to see myself. Um, I had like a really stressful day being the end of the year, so I have not really that cool attire on, guys. Fashionista 101. What I'm basically looking for is like dresses for Christmas Day. Hello. Am I even there? Yeah, yeah I'm not. Looking for Christmas dresses. Um, I need, probably gonna need to go downstairs because this is the wrong section, but I just wanted to check it out anyway. Oh, this is so pretty because I have never bought any like Christmassy like style going out stuff here. So I just wanted to see kind of what you could get for your money, and I'm gonna do a haul of those things. I really like these jackets with the detachable fur. I love this color. I have like a similar one that I actually had on this morning before I left home and it's quite like a tight fit and I decided I don't actually really like it and I'm gonna sell it. It's from Forever New um, and I'll put it on my Depop. 
This one's 30 quid, which is a really good price. They also have it in like another color that I quite like because it's got like the these like different colors. It's not as like wearable with everything, whereas this kind of like tartan pattern is can go with more. But this one is actually quite a lot thicker, I just realized. It's really a bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why in gravity pulling you in closer to me? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? Where you at? I really like these style. I think that they just go with so many different things. The only thing is. They are quite like flimsy, so I think you would need to wear tights underneath. But it's such an easy thing to just chuck on with any shirt for work. Oh my god, no, they're stuffy. Meow, kitty. Wouldn't even be a Primark haul if I didn't come to the beauty section. Oh, I need to get some. You know that situation where whenever you need something you can always find it or you can't find it and then when you do actually need it it's never there well yeah that's the story of my life i can't even find what i wanted so i'm probably just gonna leave that for now because it is so busy in here and i just really hate it um when it's around like this like the madness of the christmas rush um but i need to go and find some of the dresses now so i'm finding it really challenging to make my way around here hopefully i can find something really really cute and maybe I'll even wear something on the day. This is hilarious, but if you wanted to go themed, they have like full Santa dresses, which is not my vibe, but this is like a Christmas little section. They have like little hats and elves and stuff, but it's really close to Christmas, so this kind of stuff, like like headbands and stuff, sells out really quickly. You have to get those early if you want to get a good one. These are so cute. Oh my god, I love these. The Grinch. This is such a good little gift. If you still need to get some last minute prezzies or Christmas stocking fillers, those are really good. I think we've hit the jackpot. This is the section that we've been looking for. But <laughs> most of these are not my style. I'm like, I know that I have to just branch out and try something, but I only really want to get stuff that I like. So wish me luck. This could be cute, but I just... I don't know about it for Christmas Day. It's a bit boring. Where you at? Where you at Found myself in between the lines. Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun, but now I'm into deep. This to me is more like New Year less Christmas day, like as well as this one. That feels like quite nice quality as well. It's like nice and heavy. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Or oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless. Can't get enough. Where you at? I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really disappointed in what I've seen so far. I have not seen a lot of nice dresses, so I branched out to look at the tops as well. I thought this was kind of cute. It's only 10, but I think it might be a little bit cold and like just a bit too frilly for Christmas Day. And this is like, in my opinion, maybe like a little bit covered up compared to what you would want to be. It is really cute though, like it does feel like good quality. But honestly guys, the dresses, like I put two in my bag that I don't think are that great. Like I literally got them because they were red and green, but I thought I would give them a chance. Hello, like, trying to find your size, like, hi, hi. Oh, obviously, the only thing I think is kind of cute is probably going to be sold out in any kind of size that could possibly fit me. Yep. So, that's a vibe. Okay, guys, so we're currently experiencing a situation where I only have two things. I'm not happy with them, like, at all. Primark have really not got good options for Christmas dresses and, like, really bad, I would say. I'm in the Tottenham Court Road one, so that's a really big Primark, and I'm really disappointed. Like, I can't even do my video. There's not enough dresses for me to do it, and I don't know if that's just because I'm late and they're sold out, but either way, 
that was cancelled so I was thinking maybe we're gonna do something different and perhaps I'll do a pajama haul instead I love Marie, she is just so the cutest. Hello little pingos. The way that these pajamas feel is so nice. They're like really, really soft. They're like the material of the cushions that I have on my bed. I've gone for those like grey style ones because I wanted to get at least one pair that was like a little bit more mature. Look at me go, grown up. So we have definitely gone for a pajama haul instead. The evidence. Whoa guys, look at my eyes. I've just realized how they are. Since I left the Primark, well basically I stopped filming in the Primark because it was really really busy and it was just really difficult and yeah I just got like a bit intense because everyone was trying to do their last minute shopping at the end of the year. And since I've come home, I've been feeling so sick. Like, I was feeling sick for... <coughs> See, I'm trying, trying to cough now. I was feeling sick for a few days um, in the office. And, like, I think there's just been, like, sickness going around. The weather's changing. It's getting colder. Germs are flying around, like, in the tube and everything. And, oh, my gosh, since I come home, I've been feeling so bad. Like, I feel like I just did, like, massive coughing and sneezing fit. And after that, I was just, like man down and i've been on the bed like this was not my plan at all and i've just been on the bed i spoke to my brother on the phone for a little bit but my throat is aching so i was thinking i might like have a bath and put on a face mask and then have myself like a med lemon thing because like you know and you can feel like it's been manifesting and now i actually feel like i am sick but i have so much stuff that i need to get done in the next two days for work just getting stuff like wrapped up before Christmas and obviously boo no one wants to be ill on Christmas like nobody wants to be a spluttering coughing mess with a headache on Christmas day like that'll be a one-way street to the worst Christmas ever kitty don't you agree baby no one wants to be sick do they Like, honestly, my tonsils are killing me. Oh, that's just what it feels like. I don't know if it actually is them, but I'll, sh I'll get up quickly and not be so lazy. Um, and I'll show you guys what... I won't show you everything that I got at the Primark, but I'll show you ish what I got. Oh, awakening. Hello, tree, tree, tree. Ended up getting a whole bunch of pajamas for a video that I'm filming. As I mentioned, I wanted to do the Christmas dresses video, but yo, Primark, like where are the dresses? There were like no dresses. There were a couple for New Year, but that was about it. So yeah, I literally have this whole bag full of really, really cute pajamas and I can't wait to try them all on for you guys. That video is going to be coming out on Saturday, so I'm very much looking forward to to that oh I was like let's get a light on but I actually have such a big headache no thank you oh I know like I look, literally look like death but I really wanted to try and make my videos more realistic it's one of my goals of 2019 is to stop just thinking like things need to look a certain way I need to look a certain way I need to take out like the yums and the ahs and the wada wada like all that stuff life needs to be real like people need to see what's actually going on I was thinking, could potentially put this face mask on. It seems actually kind of a bit like summery for today. That's a sheet mask, that one, um, which comes off ASOS. Excuse me, hello. Actually, I think I'll put this one on today, which is my Dermalogica Clear Start Blackhead Clearing Fizz Mask. My skin's not really looking that great and this could be a good one to help clear it up before the festive season. I don't know what's happening with my camera right now, but apparently it's not focusing, which is super freaking awesome. I love it when that happens.
little star thing I thought I would show to you guys. Wow, that's probably so loud for you all. I use this all the freaking time. I love it so much. I've dropped it like a few times and it nearly broke and I got really sad, but place that little baby right there, pop my phone in there. Sometimes what I like to do when I'm in the bath is I will listen to a podcast or I'll watch a chilled video or if it's not a chilled video, I'll watch a video like on learning, I don't know, like I'll watch a video on how to edit something new or I love learning like little new things. Um, I get bored in the bath otherwise. I like to do all my little bits and have my little phone and entertainment there. Just get the phone. What else do I need for my bath? Oh guys, I have the most outrageous headache. I really hope that I feel better. I'm gonna keep you updated, but if I feel sick on Christmas, this bitch is gonna be fucking angry. Also, how cute is this little phone cover? I designed this one myself. Design, AKA took the image off the internet and put it onto a mold of the case which was this year, like a drag and a drop situation, but I really liked it because I thought it was like more subtle than some other like leopard print vibes that I've seen. And I have a competition currently on my Instagram. If you go to my post of this phone, it's like one of my more recent posts and just follow the rules on there, which are very, very simple. You can win yourself your own phone case from case app to design. I have another one, which I'll show you guys as well, maybe off my bar. Uh, but it's also just like quite simple, a pink one with gold polka dots, but they honestly have so many. Like, I'm boring. I've chosen like boring plain covers. But they have so many vibrant, fun, amazing ones. moisturizer today I think I'm going to use a combination of some of that aqueous cream in the background just around like parts where I'm more dry and then also some of this tan this is the body lotion that I've been using um, it's the build me up tan gradual lotion from Superdrug, and it's in a shade of medium dark I just use this if I want to have like a little bit of bronzeness but not actually tan in the winter, like I couldn't be asked to tan more than maybe once every two, three weeks because nobody's going to be seeing me. So I'm going to be wrapped up, either snuggled, eating food, or out and about where I'm most likely going to be covered too. So, yeah, this is what I'm going to be using. And for my face, I'm going to be using this Naturally Radiant Renewing Night Cream. This is also from Superdrug. This I only bought like two days ago and it's it says it's infused with plant extracts and I think it said like berries or something, kiwi fruit and mulberry. Um, I do like this, but I'm not in love with it. It was really affordable, so I wasn't expecting like anything amazing. I like the texture of it, but I'm not a massive fan of the smell. To me, it smells a little bit like masculine and almost, I don't want to say like, cinnamony but something along those lines so this isn't my favorite one that I've tried recently I don't dislike it but it's like two quid or something I wanted to try something different and I've been trying to save money and yeah it's weird because like I know that if I wore more makeup to work I would probably feel more confident but I also know that my skin is so much better for it not that it looks amazing or anything but it just has so much more time to breathe and especially when there's pollution if you just add like makeup to clog your pores and all the pollution and stress and everything I just don't think it's always the best combination so I try and not use it too much but I do actually want to try and do like more creative looks so it just means I need more practice also recently sent OMG I will show you guys a little sneak peek. I need to pack my clothes with that I wore today. 
these two eyeshadow palettes. These are from the band, the band? <laughs> Hello, groupie. These are from the brand Circeal. I think that's how you pronounce it. How nice is the packaging though? Like, this one is called I Feel Pretty and this one is called the Doggercorn palette. When I received these, I was literally overjoyed to see this one because it's literally Nelly in a palette. Nelly the Doggercorn. This is Nelly, so I was like, OMG. When I saw this, I was like, holy shit, you have your own palette, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So, this is the I Feel Pretty palette. Oh, it's just so cute. These are the colors inside. Hello. Really liking them. I like the fact that none of them look too similar, even though some of the shades are like, got a very similar tone. Sometimes you get a palette and there's like three colors and you're like, okay, cool. All of you are like pretty much the same. These are already different. I'm not going to swatch any now. I'm going to be doing a makeup video and review and swatches of them. So look out for that bad boy. But how pretty. I'm especially loving this like blue sparkly and purple and duo chrome freaking shade over there. I really hope that the payoff of that one is good. We will find out. Then this is the doggy corn palette. I literally died when I saw the packaging. This is how it looks inside. So cute. The only thing for me that I thought was when I saw the packaging and everything, I did think that the colors were going to be a little bit more vibrant and colorful. I'm totally fine with this because these are more along the lines of the colors that I use on my day to day. My only thing is that I feel like the colors in the palettes are a bit similar apart from the high rainbow. And I think that's maybe kind of why they called it Doggicorn or went with the unicorn vibe because they've got that almost like highlighter unicorn middle part. But I am really excited to try these out for you guys. I wish there was like just one shade that was like super vibrant. Like if you look at the dog and like all these colors, you expect there to be like at least like a bang, like red or yellow. And I just don't know, like this little one called Fetish, which is actually a really cool name for this. I don't know if this pan is just not like bright like that, but I really, really, really like the look of these. And... It's going to be my first time working with this brand and trying this brand, so I'm so, so excited. So look out for those first impressions. I think that one of those will be out this Sunday. Hands up if your face also goes really, really red after a bath. Like, what is this about? To be fair, I do make my baths, like, ragingly hot. Like, the hottest thing ever. Oh, my voice is starting to go. Guys, I had my little lamb sip when I was in the bath. And that kind of helped a little bit, but while I actually do still feel not really the greatest, eh, I don't look great either. Um, but I think I'm going to end the video here just because I want to try to keep them not too long, like I said, and short and sweet. I hope that you guys enjoyed like seeing the new and stuff from Primark. If you did, keep your eyes peeled for Saturday's video where I'm going to be showing the pajama bits that I picked up. They're so freaking cute and I'm really excited for that video. Until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and hope you guys are having a festive week in the lead up to Christmas. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!